back to the ground with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters full time MMA. And John Jones is coming out and he's calling Conor McGregor an inspiration. And I'll say this first there's two types of ways you can take Conor McGregor's effect on MMA and the MMA world and the whole sport of MMA. You can either take it the wrong way, in my opinion, which is the way Fabricio Verdum and some others have taken it, where they say Conor McGregor's bad for the sport, and other fighters don't like him, and if Conor McGregor wouldn't talk so much trash, then he would be liked by more fighters. Like, so you could take it that way, or you could take it to John Jones, or in some of the other way, who would look at Conor McGregor as an inspiration for showing them the amount of money they can make. Listen to what John Jones had to say. Conor McGregor has been a tremendous inspiration to me. He has shown me, who has been at the upper echelon of this sport for many years now, he has shown me that these huge paydays are possible. I've never thought in my time as champion that we would be able to see fighters making $70 million or whatever he's making for this Mayweather fight. It's an inspiration that you can do it. I see it as possible, and that's what McGregor has done for me. So, now, that's that's the truth and even if you hate on Conor McGregor and you don't like him and you think he could, he could be liked by more fighters and you care about what fighters think about you and even if you feel like that you still see how much money Conor McGregor's making you still think about that at least in your head for yourself like oh it's possible at least before this you weren't even thinking it was possible for you to make 70 million dollars in a fight you, you know it's like the first guy to run the five minute mile you know or b before him nobody thought it was possible you know just all there's all it's setting new boundaries and so that's exactly what Conor McGregor is doing for fighters of it doesn't matter what organization you're in for it doesn't matter he he's changing the sport for the better if you are a fighter you have a, more of a potential to make more money to help your family out so that's how John Jones feels about Conor McGregor and hey more respect to John Jones he's been fucking gaining all the respect and love lost from his time out is coming back in leaps and bounds. He showed class after the Daniel Cormier finish. And I noticed I said finish. He finished Daniel Cormier. People were talking about how many decisions he had been going to in his last few fights. And now he actually got a finish. He's clean. He's matured. And he's got a his mind on the big picture. He's down to go up a weight class. Listen to this. How many fighters don't want to go up a weight class for the super fight? Think about how bad this makes Demetrius Johnson look. You don't want to go up 10 pounds for a super fight. John Jones is willing to go up 20 pounds and fight a guy that's even 40 pounds heavier than that for a super fight for the payday. That looks really bad for Demetrius Johnson. John Jones is looking like he's making all the right decisions right now in his career. He said his coaches feel like he's stepping into his prime. He came out and looked like he was stepping into his prime. He's talking like he's in his prime. So John Jones is the motherfucking goat right now. And he also goes on to explain why he's not fighting Stipe Miocic over Brock Lesnar. Stipe Miocic is the heavyweight champion right now. And he's explaining why... It's more of a super fight to fight Brock Lesnar than it is to fight Steven Miocic at this point and just become the champ champ. And I'll give my opinion on it after that because he doesn't, there's some things he doesn't even touch here. But this is what he had to say. I feel like if I was going to take a fight at heavyweight, it would be against a person who me and my coaches feel makes sense for me. Right now, Stipe is looking extremely impressive, and I believe you, if you get an extremely talented big guy versus an extremely talented little guy, a lot of the cards are in his favor. Now, I fear no man, but I strike for a reason when I strike, and I feel like Stipe is relatively unknown to the casual fans. He says general public, but that's another word for casual fans. Stipe is relatively unknown to the casual fans. It wouldn't even be a real super fight, in my opinion. And in his, I have the same opinion right there. It wouldn't be as much of a super fight. Now, it would still be a super fight. I now... He, it would be a real super fight for the simple fact that John Jones joint going to become the champ champ, you know, the heavyweight, light heavyweight champ champ. So it would, the, for the same fact Eddie Alvarez became a super fight versus Conor McGregor, it would be the same thing. Eddie Alvarez was unknown to the general public before the Conor McGregor fight, but Conor McGregor, you know, already as popular as he is, John Jones as popular as he is, going for his second belt turns it into a super fight. So. Stipe Miocic versus John Jones would be a super fight, in my opinion, but as far as the general public or the casual fans, general public is a good word for casual fans, as far as the casual fans are concerned, it wouldn't be a super fight. My brother would rather see, I say him because he's a casual fan, he would rather see Brock Lesnar 
time versus John Jones times 100 rather than John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. Now, he would still watch the John Jones Stipe fight, but he would watch the Brock Lesnar one. He would pay more for the Brock Lesnar fight. He would be way more excited for the Brock Lesnar fight. So, in terms of being a bigger super fight, yes, Brock Lesnar versus John Jones takes the cake. And he said it here, man. He, you know. He kind of threw shade on Brock Lesnar because he said when you have an extremely talented big guy versus an extremely talented little guy, this cards are in his favor, and that's the truth. Now, that's like, I mean, that, yeah, that's the truth. I don't have an example off the top of my head, but you don't understand what he's saying. That's like, let's say, two of the top wrestlers, a 140-pound wrestler, a D1 wrestler versus a 170-pound D1 wrestler. Now, if you just put them both in the ring, the 170-pound is probably going to win. But let's take a Division Three wrestler and put him against a, you know, Division One wrestler. Now, a, a Division One 140-pound wrestler might be able to beat a, you know, a high school 170-pound wrestler off a of technique. So that's what John Jones is banking off of in the Brock Lesnar fight. He thinks he can beat John Jones or Brock Lesnar more off of technique. He, he thinks the skill will help out you know outweigh the size advantage versus Brock Lesnar him and Stipe's skills are a lot closer than him and Brock Lesnar's skills he feels like so he's got a better chance versus Brock Lesnar and this is what's going on with the George St. Pierre Tyron Woodley situation Ty George St. Pierre has a better chance fighting the bigger guy who some people would say is less well-rounded than Tyron Woodley I mean and now that's very arguable but a lot of as far as taking concussive blows power shots that's and, and being out wrestled takedown defense Tyron Woodley's got the edge on those things Michael Bisping has excellent takedown defense as well but Tyron Woodley's takedown defense is almost unmatched he's got the number two takedown defense in UFC history number one welterweight history so it'd be harder for GSP to take down Tyron Woodley uh, easier for GSP to get knocked out by Tyron Woodley uh, meanwhile he can move up 15 pounds and fight a guy like Michael Bisping who is the opposite so that's the same situation. Brock Le John Jones is like, I'll go up and fight the guy that can, it will probably knock the least chance of knocking me out rather than fight the guy in Stipe who's, can, you know, they can knock him out. Even though Stipe still still a move up, he's still smaller than Brock Lesnar. So we've got into John Jones talking about Conor McGregor being an inspiration and also why he's picking Brock Lesnar over Stipe Miocic as far as a heavyweight super fight. And, hey, John Jones is coming out and doing all the right things right now. Props to the young bull. It is what it is. Hit thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Uh, man, this is actually going to be my last video tonight. <laughs> I say that, but it could not be, man. If I see something really interesting, and I feel like doing a video because I'm not even going to get into it. Uh, I don't have a shift yet for tomorrow, so shit, I might fuck around and be pumping out the content tomorrow. Who knows? It is what it is. It's a daily grind over here. Let the hitters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. Dude. Harry prays to God at night. Dear Lord, please make me win the lottery. The next day, Harry begs the Lord again. Please make it so I win the lottery, Lord. The next day, Harry prays again. Please, please, dear Lord, make me win the lottery. Suddenly, here's a voice from above. Harry, would you kindly go and buy a lottery ticket? <laughs>